hands. Ooh. Well, I'm on my lunch break and I am so excited to show y'all what I have done. Um, if you caught my Instagram live, you might know I have a new planner set up. We're out with the Hobonichi. I, I, I don't know. I, I just, um, yes, I'm being a little salty about Hobonichi this year, so I'm not using it. And for the rest of the year, my planner will be standard traveler's notebook uh, with the Midori traveler's inserts. And my journaling will be in my precious Midori Habino. So right now I kind of have it set up for like planning and, but I'll just do a quick little like back uh, planning for these couple days. I kind of got away from writing in here. That's another reason why I don't really want to use um, an A5 size next year. I think the Just Scribbles planner is probably going to be so cute, but I don't know about the large size because when it's that big, it makes me want to also journal in it. And then my Habino goes by the wayside. So anyway, let's get into the Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to show you all the setup. This might be a little bit of a longer video because then I'm going to do some additional setup and probably a weekly spread. Come on, toast. Oh no, my toast needs to be charged. Womp womp. Okay creator fail. This is a Moterm cover. Brandy gifted this cover to me. Um, I also got a new pen, Caveco Art Sport, and I have it inked up with the pearl black cartridge. Oh, somebody had this at the Houston Journal Society meetup, and I was like, <laughs> I need that. Um, so a couple things I have in here. I have a washi card from Clever Clove. The shop is currently closed. They say they're going to reopen in a few years, but it's in a few years. I sincerely hope it's true because it's one of my favorite uh, brands. I typically buy their products at Little Craft Place. I have bought a few from them directly, but anyway, I cut down some sticky notes because regular sticky notes are a bit big for this section. So I put my little um, fall Sweet Kawaii sticky notes. My little bow came from Etsy Run with Craft Scissors, Leslie. Um, then here are my inserts. I have a little mini ollie clip on there. This is the jumbo ollie clip in snow leopard and then this is the mini. This, because I know a lot of people are going to ask about it, is actually a purse tassel from Consuela brand and it came with this little tiger on it which I took off because there really wasn't enough room there. Um, I put this on here because it's cute and the leathers match but also a lot of my planning is to relieve anxiety and I just love feeling this thing so I thought hey why not add it on there. Um, and then I will also add my purse, match my purse when I throw this in my bag. So the first insert, I printed a lot of family photos with my HP Sprocket printer and then added stickers and such. And then on the front, I have a Marika Paz illustration sticker. So cute. I got the inserts, the pin, and these front stickers all at Kino Kunia. And I put my sweet kawaii vellum. I, this one, I use the football. And then I have my little Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Um, <laughs> super cute Beetlejuice sticker. And then I put some Sweet Kawaii Scary Movie stickers. This is where my Perpetual Calendar will be. Although um, there is a Perpetual Calendar also in the daily and in the monthly. I'm, I'm going to keep it in this weekly view. Because I like the setup of this one the best. So this is the weekly vertical insert. Um... And we will be doing a spread in here today. I love how it's just so small because I really do think of my weekly as just a really quick overview and I don't need all the space that other type of weekly planners provide. So this size is perfect for me. Um, next, I have, of course, my daily, another Marika Paz sticker. How cute are these stickers, Roll? They also sell these at Little Craft Place. Uh, I'm not sure where to get them directly from her, but the little uh, goat with the fall and the pumpkins is perfect because you can see a lot of my photos are from the goat farm where we go to do pumpkin carving every year. And so we're going to do that later this month. So I just thought this one was too perfect. It makes me smile and think of my favorite family event. It's a little book. So I put some little books in here. This is from the Boo at the Zoo in Houston. We will not be going to that this year because it's blazing hot. This particular year, it was like super nice fall weather. Mm. 
so sorry for my slurp. Look how little Brayden and Emma were. Oh my gosh. And I'm growing my hair back to this style, FYI. Um, I put the little fall mushroom vellum in this one. Another Clever Clove decal. Um, more bookish stuff. And it's October 3rd. <laughs> so in here in the daily, what I'm thinking is I'm going to use, instead of the front page being for a perpetual calendar, I'm going to keep track of my steps right here. So that will be perfect. I think I could actually do more tracking on this page if I thought about it. Like maybe this could be steps in the little shaded part. And then over here could be gratitude. That'd be great. Um, then here are what the daily pages look like. You can, it says title and then it has the dates. Um, and then you can check off what day of the week it is, but I don't do that. I'm, I like to just put washi over it, <laughs> just use it as a grid page. I adore this paper. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. I have this A5 Hobonichi uh, pencil board that I purchased. And it so reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I just love this. And then it has that on the back. I cut it down to fit the A5 Slim, which is the standard traveler's notebook size. So when I have this closed, I'm going to keep my little mini Ollie clip on the week. And then this, you can see I kept it a little bit longer so that I could just flip to the day. So that's what that's for. These daily books hold two months, um, so which is perfect for me, you know, because these are pretty inexpensive. If seasonally I want to change out my notebook on the weekly and the daily and just keep the monthly one in here all the time, it's just such an affordable way to keep me in planner piece because I can still have a bit of change. Um, I could also keep the weekly insert and just remove the sticker and put a more like Christmas sticker or something for the new year, remove this vellum. You know, I don't know. Um, I see myself every time the daily runs out, getting a new weekly and just doing like a refresh look to it. I'm pretty set on just using this next year as well because I have several covers that I can use. I have a pink one as well as this one. Um, and then I want to get an olive green one as well because I love olive green. Um, okay, let's go to the next booklet, the monthly. Look at this adorable little possum. And he's got a little... A ribbon on his tail. I don't know what that's for. And he's got little glasses on and a little flower hat. Inside, I kind of did like a Dutch door vellum thing. I don't know. I thought it was creative. Put another clever clove. These book stickers, they came from Amazon and they were just in like this huge pack. I did a book swap on the Books and Planners Facebook group. Um, Y'all should join that if you haven't. It's really fun. It's an online um, book club. We don't have like Zooms or anything. We just read the book and we talk about it. And then sometimes we have little special things. Uh, so it's really fun. Um, I put a little family goat farm collage in there because that's my favorite fall event. I love the little uh, sweet kawaii Halloween vellum and the clever clove. It says boo. You can't really read the sign very well. And I put some more stickers in here. This is what the week, the monthly is like. It does have a place for like perpetual, but it's only for two months. Or I don't know. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's just small. It's just really small. So this is supposed to be for the whole year. This actually looks more like I could do it for steps because I would keep this monthly in here all year and not need another one. So I'm rethinking. I'm thinking on my daily one, I'll do gratitude and spending because I really want to stick better to my budget. Don't look at my pen. Don't look at my pen. Um, I've actually been doing pretty good. I got the pen and then I canceled my hair appointment. So I'm gonna just dye my hair brown at home for $6 instead of going to the salon for $150. So it kind of cancels out and kept me in budget. But yeah, I'm thinking um, gratitude and spending. So that'll be great. Let me see if I have any headers that specifically say that. Um, I know I have a gratitude sticker, but let's just write it in because this paper is so great you will not see anything through it so let's see this is going to be october i just love this paper also this paper is my favorite so i just don't have to worry about anything bleeding through or making the next page look bad because like i said a lot of my planning is just for a creative outlet and for relieving anxiety and then it just creates anxiety when it doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect, but dang, when it's just like performing below my expectation. I mean, if I mess it up, I mess it up. I take the blame. So right here, we're going to put gratitude. 
I just want to make sure I spell it right, so. Having a grateful mindset also really keeps me from being too anxious. Oh my gosh, my stomach just decided that it's hungry. Which just reminds me I need a plan for dinner tonight. I think I'm just gonna make spaghetti because your girl is feeling lazy. Okay, let's put a little line underneath with my little pen, 0.5 drawing pen. Just wanna do like a dashed line. Oh, this is great. I think I love you. Okay, that's a, such an old, terrible song. <laughs> that's actually a terrible song, Neil Diamond. Sorry for any of you that like Neil Diamond, but it's not me. This page is just blank. Uh, I'm not really feeling that. I don't have anything to put there at all, but I'll leave it. I actually have some uh, Hobonichi Week sized jumbo stickers coming, so maybe I could just put some jumbos in there. Okay, let me use this area for steps and then I don't need a, well, I guess I do have some travel plans. I was gonna say, I don't need this travel plan area, but I actually do. I have some travel plans for the holidays. So let's put some three dots. We're going to East Texas for Thanksgiving to my husband's family. And then we are going to see my family and go to the Dallas Cowboys game in December in Dallas. Um, so just little road trips. Okay, so here's what I've set up the monthly to be like. I was going to order some Hobo Weeks um, or A5 monthly kits from Sweet Kawaii. And I might use the kits to set this up in the future. But for right now, um, I just wanted to get it done. And I was just feeling in a more like Bujo mindset this week. So I went ahead and did the days of the week. Just wrote in the dates. Um, I used this pen for all of that. The Tombow Futuneske hard tip. And then I just put in a couple things. My hubby's birthday. Um going to have coffee with Rue on the 12th. We're having a family dinner night on the 5th. Football games, meetups, pumpkin and goats, football games. So I have a lot going on in the fall. So this monthly view will be really helpful at this time. Um, we're going out of town on these two days where I have the pink. It's Thanksgiving and it's my mother-in-law's birthday on the 30th. So I, wanna, I wrote that in to make sure I bring her like a card or a present. Um, I always bring a little housewarming gift because she's a very traditional lady. Um, last year I brought her like this little advent calendar um, of like jelly jars and she with jelly in it and she loved that. So I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna bring this year and a little birthday present. Um, my last insert here is just a line notebook. These are my stickers. I love these two from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. This one is my absolute favorite. I have another one of these on my Stanley Cup because it's hot pink. And then I have an, the postcard as well, which I keep on my um, cobalt mini toolbox. Oh my gosh. Molly Parton, because the cat is Molly. That is the best. Um, I put cherry vellum here because cherry is my favorite. One of my favorites designs from Sweet Kawaii. And then I put one of these little book stickers there that says treat yourself, treat your shelves. And then I put some healthy eating um, Jumbo Deco from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Because in here, we are going to keep, I'm just going to separate it by the middle of the book, but I want to put some tabs in the front half. It's going to be like grocery list type of stuff. Um, and then in the back half is going to be budget. So I'm going to put a green tab for the budget. These are tabs from one time in a million. You can tell I like those and I have several. I want to put the tabs at the top because I don't want them to be getting squished on the side. Oh, that's the budget one. Don't do it. I'm not going to label these, but you could. I'll, I would probably use a permanent pen. I've never tried to write on them, so I cannot speak to that. Okay, and then where the middle of the book starts, that's going to be where my budget section is. I'm just not a fan of having like different planners in different places right now. 
Um, like I used to have my budget in a separate book. So I'm very happy with just having a separate work planner and a separate journal. But like all of my personal planning is in one monthly, weekly, daily. Um, just like the Hobonichi. So what I was thinking is using some of these headers in the lined notebook. And then after that, we are going to do a weekly spread for the week. So let's pull that book out. If you do have traveler's notebooks, you may want to get uh, this clip or some other kind of clip that helps hold the pages down. You can also use uh, the Jumbo Ollie clip to help you with that. So I'll keep those out to help me out. And let me show you all the pen testing I did in the back of this notebook. Was it in this one? Yeah. So this is the Caveco Sport Fine Nib with the pearl black ink. I did a test of just writing and then uh, the Tombow and then wrote over it, which you can tell absorbs a little bit more ink. And you can see there, that's only one page and there's barely any shadowing and there's just um, no bleed through, no nothing. Let's do my purple pen that I've been using in the Hobo Cousin. You do have to let the ink dry for a second. Let's say you just count to 10. Yeah, see, it's already dry. That's another thing. This paper is just so good. It's not overly smooth, but it's there's definitely not tooth to it. It's definitely fountain, fountain print. <laughs> I can't talk. Fountain pen friendly. And it's just great. I just don't have any problems with it, so perfect. Um, okay, so up here in the front, I was also thinking of keeping like my TBR list and stuff. So maybe on the first page, I will do that because then it makes more sense for the like treat your shelves and then the first page. So let's put this washi down. I'm not sure what brand this is. I got it at a little craft place. I don't think that y'all are surprised by my choice of washi shopping. Okay. Let's put some letters from Sweet Kawhi at the top that say TBR. Ooh, a big cloud just came. I'm sorry. I hope it's not um, too cloudy for y'all. Let me make sure I have a B. Okay, I do. T B R. Y'all can tell I'm having fun with this setup. That's what I want. I want it to be functional. I want it to be customized and I want it to be fun. And I want it to let me use the pens that are my favorite. So I think we have a winner. And also something that's like not too hard to come by, you know, because if you, if you start to get super specialty items, there is a chance that the next time you want that thing, you can't get it anymore. And I don't want to be in that spot. Okay. TBR list. Let's leave a couple pages for that. Okay, next let's put um, meal ideas. Since I'm on my goal hustle, I need to have like healthy, mainly lunch and snack ideas. Dinners, I tend to, you know, cook similar things over and um, just eat not many carbs and then as long as I have like a healthy lunch and healthy snacks and do my steps I usually start to lose weight pretty quickly da, 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 da. Okay, easy um next let's put shopping list and these are from sweet kawaii and they are called hobonichi weeks headers but how do you even tell you can use them in any planner this is going to be just like a wish list so that I will be less impulsive about my spending and remember if there are big ticket items that I've been wanting or if there are releases coming up that I want to save my money for so that I could be more intentional with my budget. Okay, and then... I want one that says next week, even though this is going to be really broad. 
I'm okay with it because I want a place where if I think of something and I'm working or I'm out, a place to write down just real quick. Hey, don't, for, don't forget you have this coming up next week, like while it's in my brain. And then when I get a moment or when I get home, I can transfer it into my weekly because although I have sticky notes on the front, I'm not a big sticky note user. I really just use them for decor. I don't like to have a bunch of sticky notes on my pages. Kind of drives me crazy. Um, okay, great. And then in the back here, this will be where my budget will be. I will put a, a jumbo sticker here to denote the difference in those. Last but not least, we are going to do a weekly spread for this week, which we are already on Thursday, but who cares? Um, I want to use, this is the journaling kit, spooky movies, and then this is the horizontal one. So I'm going to use a combo of these two. I love the date covers, but I'm not sure if I can make them work in here. So let's see. I know for sure I can put yeah, uh, let me test the date covers first. So what I do is I cut it like that. And I want to see if it's going to fit without covering up all of the deco that's on the page. It is! Okay, yay. For the sake of this video, I'll put the rest on later. I just need to see where they will fall. Okay, in this washi, I'm gonna have to cut it down slightly. So just keep in mind, if you're gonna, you know, get sticker kits for a traveler's notebook, um, you are gonna have to do some cutting, trimming, a little bit of customizing. Probably the itty bitty sticker kits would be your best bet if you want something really close to the size of these columns. Any special planner that you get, um, just measure the size of the columns and the boxes before, if you're, you know, if you're on a budget and you want to make sure before you purchase anything. But I'm pretty happy with um, testing since I am lucky enough to have a lot of stickers at my disposal. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the cutest. I can't even. Oh, I love it. Okay, then we need to cut one more strip. I just cut like a tiny bit off. About like that. Okay. So a lot of people said that I should like reach out to Hobonichi about the problem that I had with the Hobo Han, but I'm not going to. I bought it from a little craft place and I, I, I don't want them to ultimately charge the retailer for any refund or anything. So I'm just going to leave it alone and take it as a learning lesson. But these things do happen sometimes. I didn't make it this exactly the same size, but you can't really tell, can you? If you can, just don't worry about it. It's my planner. That's one thing that doesn't bother me where the shadowing, well, I guess more bleed through is something that does, so. Okay, at the bottom, I'm gonna put the rest of the strip. Oh my gosh, you could also just do the washi there and it would fit, but I just kind of want to cover up that top section because I don't need it. Okay, um, and it goes from 8 a.m. to 22, which is 10 p.m. this so now you're like but what are you gonna do over there I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put some deco wanna watch a scary movie 
Okay, so in the journaling, if you don't want the date covers, your best bet is to go with the journaling kit on this probably because it has more deco. I already used some of it in the setup that I showed y'all earlier, so. What did I just cut off? Oh, the remote. Tasha's little details that she adds are just so cute. I don't know if y'all have been watching her stories, but you should because she talks about restocks and stuff in there sometimes. And she um, has been, she has taken up knitting and it's just so cute. I love to see her projects and she gets them done like super fast. I don't know if she's just like a knitting genius, but, or if she used to do it a lot and then just took it up again. But if that's a new hobby, I mean, Tasha is like whipping out these sweaters so fast. Kind of makes me want to do it. This is super cute. Oh my gosh. I just love this. Okay, let's put that one there. We're gonna cut it slightly. Definitely gonna watch original Beetlejuice this weekend. Um, and potentially Hocus Pocus. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is put some dots where things typically happen. So Monday, my hubby does the drop off. Oh, and another thing to note is the times are in the middle of the column. They're not on every column, which gives you a little bit more writing space. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, I do the school run. My hubby does it on Monday and Friday for now. He's not always going to be able to do that. Okay, and then what I've been marking in my weekly recently are my meals. And I'm going to do those in a coordinating color. So I just need to do my lunch and my snack. This just helps hold me accountable to my goals. And then dinner is always at six o'clock in my family. We like to eat early. Um, And then I have my PM routine. So like, you know, bath, teeth, etc. Um, and then I want a place to just mark off if I drank my water for the day or not. So I'll put that here at the end in blue. Blue means water to me. Um, and then Friday is my hubby's birthday, and then Saturday we are going out for dinner for it. So what I'm going to do is put a half box here to note. I call these my event labels because when I see a box, I know there's a special event going on, and it calls my attention to it. And so then I'll put um, this one here, and I can mark in the dinner. Oh, I didn't make it straight. So Friday, we're going to do the gifts and cake because my hubby likes to do it on the actual day. And then we are going to the dinner on Saturday because Brayden has a football game on Friday, which I am not going to. Okay, I'll put the little popcorn. That's super cute. The little orange stripes remind me of Whataburger, but... Okay, let's put $2 Tuesday and Fruity Friday from the Horizontal Kit because those are important to my social media posting. And Tasha's been doing some double freebies lately, so you guys should definitely keep an eye on Freebie Friday. Um, Okay, then at the bottom, I think what I'll do is just leave some room for 
any weird to do's like for example um i'm gonna be dyeing my hair i needed to send in my form to have my background checked for volunteering with the school i'm very glad that they require that um and then you know just have like payday um I'll put that here so that you know meant all the things paying the bills and um I already ordered hubby's gift and cake and I got he doesn't watch these videos and he's not home so I got him like this candy bouquet y'all have probably seen those before he's a big candy monster so I think that he'll he'll like and appreciate that um and then, like, my kids were running out of, like, shampoo and conditioner, so Braden asked for those, and I've already ordered that. Let's put this little movie sticker down here in the blank space. I don't know. It's just a little too... I don't know. It's, it's so much darker than these other ones that I'm just thinking I want to put something a little bit lighter like yeah like the moon that's good and then let's put a remember sticker up here not that I am inclined to forget when I'm gonna go get pasta made inside a wheel of cheese at my table but okay then let's put to do up here I love this. This is perfect for what I need. So, um, I'll back plan some of these days, but as far as today, I'm about to have my lunch, which is going to be eggs and fruit. It's a late lunch too. Uh, I need is orange. Okay, let's see, we have drop off. Emma is feeling much better. Her meds are finally kicking in, I think, the antibiotics. So she's been coughing much less. And then um, for my snack, I'm gonna have RX bar. For dinner, we're gonna have spaghetti. This is pickup, PM routine, and hydrate. So this is pretty much like a huge habit tracker. Um, so in the future, I might do like different colors each day, but for this time, it's fine. I didn't really think about that. Um, I'm gonna finish putting the dates on, but I know that y'all will not want to wait around on that because how boring. Um, let's put the books back in set up. I actually didn't end up needing the clips, did I? So you just basically got to train it. But if you have it in the book, when you try to do things, yeah, you will, you will definitely need um, the clips. And there are cheaper ones out there, but y'all already know, um, planning and journaling is it can get quite expensive, which is why I'm trying to really just these days know myself, know what's going to satisfy Um, I don't know what I need in a system. And by George, I think I've got it. Um, I put back my, I just keep this for the look. And I love that in the Motorum, how it has the back pocket because then you can like slide it. And also, if I have like bigger documents that I want to store in here, um, so easy to do so. That is it, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this um, video about my traveler system, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!